up you guys this is the second video that i've done in over two and a half months i want to thank everyone for just being so supportive to me at this time just all the love i just want to thank everyone um you know just for showing me that love and support it does mean a lot to me um i didn't really know when i was going to come back to youtube because you know i just wasn't really ready but i feel like this is the best outlet for me i am going through a lot and i just want to get back to my life and be able to move forward i love you guys i love all of you. so the wig that i got in the package or the mail was some time ago and um it was by a company called victoria wigs okay and they sent me their fake scalp lace front wig it has the fake scalp on it you know what i'm saying it has the combs and the adjustable strap and the nape and it also does come with like this extra little bra hook thing that i don't even know where it's at right now but it does come with an removable plastic bands it's one of the ones that have basically like the bra strap here's the thing with this fake scalp that they made now when you make a fake scalp it's supposed to look just like scalp it's supposed to just mimic fake scalp you know what I'm saying it's supposed to look like scalp whatever scalp 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 um so for this one it doesn't really do that for me only because they didn't bleach the knots they did not bleach the knots in this unit, which means that there's speckles all throughout the unit, you know, the little dots. So that kind of like defeats the purpose of them making a fake scalp if there's bleached, if the knots are just very prominent, you know what I'm saying? So you could either remove it and just make it into a regular lace wig or you and bleach the knots yourself or just wear it as is and probably pile some makeup on it. But we're going to see how this works out, you know, to the best of our ability. I'm going to be using a product today by Wig Extensions which is their semi-permanent tinting spray i did use this in a video prior and i actually do like it sent me three colors which was golden mocha and beige they're very affordable they're small bottles they're semi-permanent so they're not going to last for a very long time and the smell is really natural it smells good to me it kind of looks like a tea scent and along with that Prior to these, I did purchase some, which is by Tailored Crown, and their bottles are a little bit bigger. You can either buy them individually or you can purchase them as a three-piece set. There are six different colors. This is the newer colors that they came out with, but this product is just as good too. I have the colors in Caramel Almond Cafe. Caramel Almond and Cafe. The beige works really good for me. Some people need to use it to mix. You can use it to mix other colors, but I'm just trying to get this lace to match my skin color this um fabric is not the stocking cap fabric that some of the other fake scalps are using this is like a fabric like a material it's a little bit different and you can either apply this stuff wet to your wig once you finish washing it or dry you can either let it air dry or blow dry it So I'm not really sure how well that's going to work being that the knots are very speckled. You know, I got makeup with me on board. I do believe this wig was either is 22 inches. I'm not really sure. I cannot remember because I've had it for a minute, but I'll definitely put all the specs below. And it's a curly unit. I will put everything below for you guys. Now, I did pre-pluck some of the hairs out, even though, you know what I'm saying, it's a fake scalp. You can still pre-pluck it up into the fake scalp. So I'm going to just cut the lace off the back of this and we're going to get into this. Okay guys, so we're gonna get into this fake scalp lace front wig tutorial. So as you guys see, I did spray some of that tinting spray on it because the stocking cap or the material, the fabric that they used underneath was a little bit too light for my skin. And as well as that is I'm going to have to customize the unit. So the first thing I'm gonna do is cut the lace off of this hairline. And if you could see the stocking cap underneath, which is attached to the wig, it's not the same fabric as an actual stocking cap. It's a little bit thicker, which is a good thing because it will be more durable. But the color is very light as opposed to what I would wear. So as you guys see right here, I'm just parting the unit right above my ear because it is a little bit too big, meaning it's flapping over my ear and you want it to lay just above your ear. So you will need to cut off a little, but this little piece right here, um, the little hooks that they sewed onto the cap to use along with the um, black elastic band that you can remove, it's definitely in the way. It's not going to allow my wig to, to lay down 
down as you guys see where it's at right there it needed to be a little further back so I'm just going to have to remove the both of them and being that I don't know where the strap is at anyway that's fine um, you know I didn't even need it but yeah they definitely will need to place those in a different spot because they are too close to the front hairline and now is the part where you know I make all the baby hairs and such and things like that now first of all let me tell you guys um, well this is the glam force a hairspray that I use to apply all of my wigs this is 20 inches it's a hundred and fifty percent density it's a deep curly virgin Brazilian and the price of this is three hundred and thirty one dollars okay so for one the price is is to me it's not bad and it's not great I'm just gonna say I'm in between I'm kind of like if the wig had been pre plucked had been bleached knots then I think it would have definitely been worth it but being that the knots are not bleached in this unit it makes it not really a fake scalp you'll definitely have to customize this unit the hair texture though is beautiful so that's the part that I think that it's worth it because the hair texture is amazing you know but they do need to work on the knots you have to bleach the knots prior to putting the cap the stocking cap to the wig or else that defeats the purpose um, you will definitely need to thin the hairline out which I did up into the cap portion and in some of it I still kept tweezing but I didn't want too much of the cap to show um, do I think it's kind of high for the price it might be a little bit too pricey because it's not bleach knots but you know what I would do with this unit is I would just remove the stocking cap and bleach myself the knots myself and then maybe I put the stocking cap back on I'm not like a huge fan of the stocking cap or the fake scout wigs you know I prefer just what I prefer you know I'm just old school so I'm just taking a little bit of that gel that you see me use and I just put it on the root of the hair I didn't want it on the entire hair because I didn't want the hair to get hard now here's the part where you see the knots you see those little dark speckles that is defeating the purpose of it being a fake scalp so this is where I mean it has to be bleached prior to putting on the stocking cap so I'm just going to finagle this the best that I can I have me some water um, in my spray bottle and along with the water there is some Carol's Daughters leave-in conditioner hair milk which you definitely will need some type of conditioner mixed in with your water when you're spraying wet hair or excuse me when you're spraying curly hair or wavy hair if you're just spraying with water it's going to dry the hair out now this part right here is I'm just smoothing down the hairline of it you know you can use a blow dryer to adhere the wig you can not use a blow dryer if you don't have a blow dryer to adhere and dry your hairspray then just spray in little um, sections and then I also did put some of my makeup concealer on the knots in the front because I'm trying my best to save this wig I think it's a nice wig but you know it does need some work so for me I wouldn't really call this a fake scalp because I would definitely be removing the fabric underneath now I did put a little bit too much concealer in some portions that you see right there in the front of my hairline was a little bit too light but you know easily removable with water like I said, the texture is beautiful, but it needs a little bit more work on the cap construction. You guys, I'm done with this wig by Victoria Hair or Victoria Wigs. I'll definitely post all the information below. For one, I had to remove where they sewed in black elastic strap things at. They were too far near the temp or too far near the ear tabs and the cap fits a little bit big so I had to actually cut some of it off just to make it fit. The whole purpose of a fake scalp wig is to be able to wear it without having to do anything bleach and makeup you just want to put it on and go so with this one it wasn't necessarily that that way I had to spray the lace with the wig extensions wig um, semi permanent tint which is not a big deal because not everybody's scalp is going to match every cap cap but I also had to use some of my pressed powder the knots were not bleached prior to making the wig into a fake scalp it kind of like defeated the purpose now I want to say this thank goodness that the hair is curly because because if it wasn't curly you would definitely see the knots a whole lot more in this unit if it was like straight hair but being that it's curly it kind of hides camouflages some of the knots but you're still gonna have to use makeup so you guys I will leave all the information below for Victoria Wicks I love you guys thank you for just holding me down and I will definitely see you guys in a soon to come video so on that note stay diva and divalicious make sure you rate comment subscribe thumbs this video up and stay tuned for some soon to come videos in the next few days okay